Italy's awakening supervolcano, known as Campi Fligre, experienced a remarkable event in 1538 when the ground beneath it rose by an astounding 66 feet 20 meters, before erupting. This fascinating discovery has been unveiled by a recent study. The eruption in 1538 resulted in the swelling of the ground beneath Campi Fligre near Naples until it reached a breaking point and unleashed a cataclysmic burst. The eruption engulfed the Roman-era village of Tripergole beneath a torrent of muddy ash and lava, ultimately forming a new mountain known as Monte Nuovo. With renewed signs of restlessness observed in the volcano, scientists embarked on a new study to gain a better understanding of the volcano's most recent historical eruption. Their findings were published on June 16 in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. Lead author Elisa Trossati, a researcher at the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Italy, highlighted the significance of monitoring ground deformations associated with volcanic activity using satellite and ground-based detection networks. However, there remains limited knowledge about past volcanic behavior and eruptions that occurred prior to the instrumental age. Campi Fligre, meaning, burning fields, or, fiery fields, is an extensive network of 24 craters and structures concealed beneath the surface. It stretches from the vast caldera opposite Mount Vesuvius at the western edge of Naples into the nearby Gulf of Pozzuoli. More than 1.5 million people reside above this underground volcanic complex, with half a million people living within its 7-mile, 11-kilometer, long caldera. The caldera formed following a massive eruption 39,000 years ago. Since the mid-20th century, the volcano has exhibited signs of activity, with heightened bursts observed in the 1950s, 1970s, and 1980s. A period of unrest that began in 2005 is still ongoing. The ground beneath Pozzuoli, a town situated atop the volcano, has risen by 4 inches 10 centimeters, per year, resulting in a cumulative elevation change of 13 feet 4 meters, since the 1950s. Additionally, Campi Fligre experiences persistent small earthquakes, with more than 600 detected in April, surpassing the region's previous monthly record. To gain insight into the current rumblings of the volcano, scientists delved into its past. They fed data from geological, archaeological, and historical sources into a mathematical model that estimated the magma flows beneath Campi Fligre's surface. The study revealed that the eruption was preceded by significant ground deformation. The deformation initially affected the Pozzuoli area and then localized around the future eruptive vent, resulting in an elevation rise of 66 feet, 20 meters, as reported by Trasati. The accumulation of volcanic gas deep within the crust beneath Campi Fligre caused stretching, warping, and slipping, leading to seismic activity. Once a sufficient amount of gas had accumulated, the crust ruptured, propelling a column of magma from a depth of 4 miles .4 kilometers, to the surface. Following the eruption, the ground experienced a period of subsidence, followed by renewed uplift, until the volcano eventually entered a dormant phase until the 20th century. If Campi Fligre were to replicate its largest known eruption from 39,000 years ago, it could release molten rock and volcanic gases into the stratosphere, trigger tsunamis reaching heights of 100 feet .5 meters, and disperse a plume of sulfur and toxic ash capable of inducing a global winter for several years. Such an event would devastate crops and cause mass extinctions. However, the researchers discovered that Campi Fligre's eruptions need not always be so catastrophic. Only a small fraction of the accumulated magma erupted during the 1538 event, indicating that eruptions can taper off without the volcano fully unleashing its destructive power. Thanks for watching.